Omaha parks are now reopened one week ahead of schedule. Mayor Jean Stothert made the announcement at a news conference Friday. But that doesn't mean certain guidelines are off the table. Sydney Gray shows us how some spent their first day back at the park. Many people are taking advantage of the big open space here at Memorial Park and some folks I talked to say the parks reopening gives them a sense of hope for the future. It was the perfect day for city parks to reopen for the Fannin family. So breezy and nice and it's not too hot. The city closed parks in an effort to slow the spread of coronavirus after seeing large groups at several area parks. Karen Fannin says her family missed going to the park after the closures, so they were eager to get back out. They missed the playgrounds for sure, and of course that's still closed and makes sense for that to be closed for sure. Um, it's just nice to be able to go to another uh, place and have a change of scenery. As the family of four played soccer, Fannin says being able to enjoy the outdoors outside of their home makes a huge difference in a time of social isolation. I think it just helps spark our spirits and feel like it's okay for us to be out. And while we could ride our bikes through this park last week, it's nice to be able to stop and do something here. It's just important for people to get outside. It's definitely good for mind and body as far as health goes. So, and that's what people need extra of right now. Obviously, everybody's got extra stressors and everything like that. So, it's just very therapeutic to be able to get outside and it's good for everybody. But just because parks are reopened, Mayor Jean Stothert says people should still be practicing social distancing. We figure our parks are big enough that people can spread out and follow that six foot rule, but we don't want to see big groups of people in our parks. Now, city parks will only be open from 5 a.m. until 8 p.m. and all playgrounds will remain closed. Reporting from Memorial Park, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now.